go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Do a mic check. Mic check, mic check. Bring me a little closer. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Marcella. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Incognito. Good morning, Bree. Wonderful morning. Abundant love, abundant blessing. Malika. Hello, sweetie. Sanjay. Hi, Tracy and everyone. Mother of Brad's Grand Rising and good health. Malika with the red heart. Malika with the white heart. Thank you, sweetie. Kathy, blessed morning. All mic, mic sound low. I think I fixed it. Joshua, love to hear Tracy. Thank you. Sounds low. Hey, you all. No, I just fixed it. So how is everyone doing today? I swear to God, I said I wasn't going to get up. I swear. And I don't know what I did with my, with my thing. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. Oh, my nerve is ridiculous. I thought I took this. I'm going to take this right now. I thought I took my pill. of the possibility of Michelle Obama becoming president. Have you guys heard this? Is it running through the internet yet? I 
don't know how true it is, but I don't think I should not look into it. I don't know how much of a secret it is, but I definitely don't think I should pass it up. What do you guys think? Hi, Bobo. Hey, Cookie. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Creative Soul. Uh, so, my, my teeth again. Lena, beloved, good morning. Oh, which reminds me. Oh, that reminds me. So, I feel a little discombobulated this morning, but I will get it together. See what the comments say. I don't even want this one. Get out. Oh, hi, Australia. Australia, have you seen any pictures of Diana, of um, Kate Middleton leaving the hospital? They said she left the hospital, but I don't believe it. Your hair is growing. Girl, your hair oil is going to be competition with... Ugh, please don't bring up Kaleidoscope. Yeah, I, I'm not in competition with Kaleidoscope. I hear what you're saying, though, and I really appreciate what you're saying, but I don't want to start no shit with no Kaleidoscope. Besides, her products are in local stores and they have chemicals in them. And my product is being sold out of my house and doesn't have chemicals in them. So, yeah. You know I hate that woman. Have you guys heard anything? Because apparently she was released from the hospital. But, uh, no pictures. Do you guys know anything? All right. What are we talking about today? We are going to be talking about Michelle. Michelle. No, no info over the pond. Hmm. Who, who is unique? Confused leopard seal. So cute. No competition. There's, there isn't complete. There isn't competition. Think of it like this. She's in her own lake. Unique. One of a kind. Oh, are you talking about the oil? Thank you. Um. Oh, I saved it.
right, right. I'm with you. I, I, I heard her say that too. So who is this woman? I forgot who this woman is. This is the woman that got fired from Fox with Jeffrey, uh, Roger Ailes, that woman. Can't remember her name. Remember she had her own TV show, but it bombed. Oh, what was that girl's name? She sued the network. The network gave her money and then gave her her own show, but she was, what is this thing here? She was so bad with the audience that they had to cancel the show and some fatal statement made her lose her job. Something crazy. Yeah, but that's not true, Kathy. None of it is true. That's why I'm asking Australia if they have seen pictures. None of it is true. None of it is true, but y'all believe what you want. I'm only the psychic correspondence. I'm only the UK psychic correspondent. That woman is not okay. But okay. All right. tell you what she may not be above ground and there was no way the London Clinic was going to be able to make that statement just saying you haven't seen any pictures in Australia Michelle why are you bringing up Megan What's, what's the point of the question mark with Megan? Are you kidding me, Lena? Are you kidding me? Just Hilarious is on The Breakfast Club? Charlemagne, the god, must might become a goddess now because he was not happy when she made that statement. Michelle, you're not talking in complete sentences. If you have something to say, like give me a little bit more to go on. I don't know what you're saying. You're just saying Megan and then something. What does that mean? All three backed her? All three who backed her? Who backed her? All three who backed her? Who? There's three people on the Breakfast Club, Lena? Let me check her Instagram. Oh, Halle Berry, if you wasn't so young, I'd probably cuss you out. But I'm just, like, over this girl right now. Just over her. Megan. Oh, Megan, yes. Megan, yes. That's her name. Megan what? Megan Fox? 
was like, Megan, you're right, Megan something. I can't remember her last name either. All right, Megan. What am I looking up? Just hilarious. Look at the picture. That's a queen's chair. <laughs> yes, Jess. It was even that third seat on the Breakfast Club was one of the most sought after coveted positions in hip hop. There is chess. Huh? I would think somebody like the Breakfast Club would need the clout chase. But doing that, they probably want somebody light skin. Well, I'm just with the master Mike. Just hilarious. Now comments on them saying these niggas is trash. Y'all could have got somebody better than that. I'm not hating. They don't give a damn about what she's done. She made the announcement before it was even eight. That third seat on the Breakfast Club was one of the most sought after coveted positions in hip hop media. Less hilarious. You were using that Breakfast Club to besmirch my name, speaking so negatively. She ain't over there. She's back on the Monopoly board. Yes, man. You gotta get more going on in your career. I saw Just people. Hilarious say she, you know, got the role and stuff. Why did she say that? They said you don't work there no more. Girl, did you get fired or not? How the hell are you gonna get fired on your day off? What happened to Jess Hilarious on The Breakfast Club? They either didn't hire her or fired her. The Breakfast Club just isn't what it used to be. They can either choose to put a new three in there or kill the show off completely. I think The Breakfast Club is over, man. You cannot make an announcement. They have rollouts. Party. They to make this a extravagant. Women empowerment. And she did some Baltimore shit. They be going wrong. She spoke too soon. She announced her move before her move was done. And now she's left with an egg on her face. Lock it in, y'all. Jess Hilarious will not be the co-host of The Breakfast Club. This is all just like one of the These niggas trash. This shit came off as if the two of them had something to do as to why she isn't a part of The Breakfast Club. I'm sorry you didn't get the job, uh, Les Hilarious. Do you feel she called them out over not securing her spot as an official call? Mmm, this is giving me stuff. If you ask me. That was hot. That's hilarious. <laughs> over not securing her spot at that was hot. Mm, this is giving me stuck if you ask me. again. Uh, <laughs> Do you feel she called him out over not securing her spot as an official call? Mm, this is giving me stuck if you ask me. if it was fake or if it was real. What I do feel is like Charlemagne the God was being a little goddess. But the goddess has walked into the room. Move over boys. Yes. Now that will bring up the ratings. Yes! I don't even like her. But I, I like this. I watch it now. Mm -hmm. I love the visuals. Thank you, Michelle. I really appreciate that. I love. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Goddesses take over. Charlemagne, sit down. All right. The women take over. 
That's the only reason why I'm glad to be in this era. The only reason why I'm glad to be in this era right here is for the female takeover. I'm going to support all you young ladies. Just take over. Period. That shit was hot. Do y'all want to see it again? Because that shit was hot. Speaking from the purple couch, how are you, sweetie? I see you making some rounds, girl. Just make rounds. I'm proud of you, speaking from the purple couch. I really am. Very proud of you. Women rise. No fear. Just rise. It's not an argument. It's not a problem. Women got to stick together. That might be the bigger difference, but rise. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know what's on there. That shit was hot. All right. Yeah. Got our jam. How are you all doing today? Oh, you're welcome. You're quite welcome. Hi, Tanil. Okay, so I gotta play this too. I wanna play this one more time. This was hot. Did y'all like this? This was hot. Mm, 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 mm. But knowing them, they probably want somebody light skin. Well, I'm just with the mess. My news is real. Just hilarious. Now comments on them saying these niggas is trash. Y'all could've got somebody better than that. I'm not hating. They don't give a damn about what she's done. She made the announcement before it was even inked. That third seat on The Breakfast Club was one of the most sought after coveted positions in hip hop media. Less hilarious. You were using that Breakfast Club to besmirch my name, speaking so negatively. She ain't over there. She's back on the Monopoly board. Jess, man, you gotta get more going on in your career. I saw it. Just Hilarious say she, you know, got the role and stuff. Why did she say that? They say you don't work there no more. Girl, did you get fired or not? How the hell are you gonna get fired on your day off? What happened to Jess Hilarious on The Breakfast Club? They either didn't hire her or fired her. The Breakfast Club just isn't what it used to be. They can either choose to put a new three in there or kill the show off completely. I think The Breakfast Club is over, man. You cannot make an announcement. They have rollouts. Party to make this up. It's not again. Women empowerment. And she did some Baltimore shit. They be going wrong. She spoke too soon. She announced her move before her move was done. And now she's left with an egg on her face. Lock it in, y'all. Jess Hilarious will not be the co-host of The Breakfast Club. This is all just like one big hunch. These niggas trash. This shit came off as if the two of them had something to do as to why she isn't a part of The Breakfast Club. I'm sorry you didn't get the job, um, Les Hilarious. <laughs> Do you feel she called him out over not securing her spot as an official call? Mm, this is giving me stock if you ask me. Congratulations, Jess Hilarious. You absolutely deserve this position. <laughs> I was going to say something about being dark skinned, but I'm going to fuck it. Just say it. You got it because you dark skinned, and the dark skinned girls win this time. You got it. <laughs> Plus, you're talented. And I may try to like you again. I don't know why I didn't like you in the beginning. But once I don't like someone, I just kind of stick to that. But I'm still very, very proud of how this went down for you. Whether it was a ploy or not, whether they all knew maybe she had a contract under revolt and without pity being there, maybe a new contract needed to be constructed.
maybe. I really like this. She's from Baltimore. Are you guys sure Charlemagne is happy? He doesn't seem happy. Yes, I would think breakfast club. All right. Oh, there you have it. There you have it. All right, got something else to play. Let's get this reading started. Obama has polled donors. This is Barack Obama. For, uh, for his wife, and that the plan is around May, Joe Biden announces he's not running. This will uh, that allow the uh, August convention at, it, for Michelle to get nominated at the August convention. That they don't want to do it any earlier than May because it would make uh, Joe Biden a lame duck. But sometime between May and August, Mrs. Obama will become the nominee that she will be subbed in. Can't imagine an answer from top Democratic donors to that question, other than, we feel great about that. <laughs> please, please have her do that. Um, I mean, it would be a total game changer, Rich. It would be a total game changer. As is reportedly, I'm being told, that Obama has polled donors, this is Barack Obama, for, uh, for his wife, and that the plan is around May, Joe Biden announces he's not running, this will uh, that allow the uh, August convention at, it, for Michelle to get nominated at the August convention, that they don't want to do it any earlier than May because it would make uh, Joe Biden a lame duck. But sometime between May and August, Mrs. Obama will become the nominee that she will be subbed in. Can't imagine an answer from top Democratic donors to that question other than we feel great about that. <laughs> please, please have her do that. Um, I mean, it would be a total game changer, Rich. It would be a total game changer. As is reportedly, I'm being told that Obama donors for, uh, for his wife. Not going to happen. Hmm. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure, Moon? Let's take a look. A setup in what way, Volvo? Let's take a look. Me, personally, I can't see Biden going for a new term. That's for me, personally. I'm like... For me, I'm like, I can't see it. I also can't see black folks voting for Biden. That means there's a potential for a lot of black folks to stay home. If they stay home, how is that problematic? There's nothing exciting going on. Bingo. Bingo. Him and Nancy Pelosi has been running this country from jump. Bingo. Right. There is no one worth voting for. 
So that means an Obama on a ticket could shake up the game. I don't know what that means, sweet calm out. When you say he's the new Abraham Lincoln, just call me ignorant, but help me out with that. Well, notice they did not bring up Kamala's name because Kamala is not attached to black folks like she wants to be, but she's just not. Maybe she's more attached to Indian folks, but not black folks, child. Kamala is very disconnected, or else they would just give her the job, but she's too disconnected. You guys want to see? Will they bring, let's keep it nice and simple, will they bring Michelle Obama to the forefront? Because I've never seen a presidential election where there aren't candidates going against the president. The table is clean. I've never seen this. Now, I'm an old broad. I've been a while, been around a while. I've never not seen candidates to go against the Democratic president. It has never happened. We have zero candidates. And we have zero candidates because that's calculated. talking about Obama? Okay, you guys are talking in chopped up sentences, so to Neil, I don't know what this means, and they should not. I don't know what this means. Sad to say, there's no one, but okay, so the no one worth voting for, I believe is calculated. I believe it's calculated. I think they are doing that on purpose. Oh, but we, we as black people, we know the answer to that, right? We don't have to go into detail. He's not pro black. Yeah, he's not. Clearly, he's not. What's I'm sorry, Tanil? Please, God, talk to me. Talk to me about Michelle Obama. Please allow me to see anything and everything that you would like for me to see. Michelle is your child. She's your love. She is your beloved. Please, Father God, authorize me to see and say what you would like for me to say and see. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. All right. Whatever's going on, a decision was just made this month. It's a cover up, but it's thawing out. So information is leaking out. What Fox got might have been purposefully leaked. Out. They're being very evasive about it, right? They're not going to answer yay or nay, right? There is an offer on the table, though. So conceptually, the potential, I've only got one, two, three, four cards being seen. Conceptually, 
this could wind up being true. This is a concept that somebody has cooked up, I promise you. All right, one, two, three, four. Kind of is giving me a story of a possibility, right? A decision was decided to execute this in January. It's been a cover up probably for the last nine months. Hoping, I think, that Biden's um, career would get boost. Also, for the last nine months, I think they've been hoping that President 45, ex-President 45, court cases would diminish his chances, right? but they're having some difficulty with the black vote. And they already know without the black vote, they will not win. They already know this. I get the hangman. <clears throat> I feel like, I'm telling you, I feel like it's something that they have to do. Not that they want to do. They have to do it. I get the Ace of Pentacles. This is money or donations to begin this program. Oh, I get the Page of Cups. Oh, the Page of Pentacles. These are the children. Oh, very interesting. Watch beefed up security on the kids. That's how you're going to know. Watch beefed up security on the kids. Deception. This is coming from the Democrat side. And the Four of Pentacles. Wanting to keep everything as is. Meaning... What the Democratic Party has started, they don't want to lose it. Hmm. Holding tight. Maintaining status quo. It's a sound business execution. At some point, it's over caution. there's anything that is a loss here. And remember the play on words. Michelle Obama said that she would not go after the presidency four years ago. She never said never. There's going to be a world announcement, official world announcement, I think, is coming in June-ish, officially. There's going to be speculation and conversations about it, but it, I don't think it's coming through until June, two months before the August convention. Guys... I can only go by what spirit tells me, and I get a resounding yes. And look in that card. Do you see a spirit in that card? I've never seen that before. Can you guys see the spirit? Opposite my fingers? I've never seen that before. Can you guys see it? When I put the card 
pod down. It's not there. But can you get all the stones up again? Can you guys see the spirit? Right, Rhonda, you could see it? I've never noticed that before. And the yes card, the resounding yes card. Before the yes card, I get a queen of cups, which, what's her sign? Oh, she's like a Taurus or a Capricorn or something. And then I get the page of swords. So, the page of swords means twofold. The announcement is going to be met twofold. People are going to be happy and people are going to be upset. Decisiveness, unexpected or upsetting news. Mm. Forceful or blunt communication. Logic. Discretion. Again, second time around, good business sense. An important message. Being on the defense. A message hurling change. Hmm. Not all the ramifications of this decision is going to be received well. Capricorn Aquarius, thank you for confusing. Thank you. If she is a Capricorn Aquarius mix, she is exactly what America would need since we are in Pluto and Aquarius. you for that. She is absolutely a cusp. She is a cusp. She is cusp Capricorn Aquarius. And don't think that the White House in America doesn't do astrology readings. If they didn't do it for her last time, meaning should she run for president, which would have been perfect because we came out like droves for Biden, so we would have come out for droves with her. But that means astrologically, it was off. As a Capricorn Aquarius cusp, with Pluto in Aquarius, with v uh, Venus, I forgot, is somewhere significant. This is all about female power, guys. Hey, Miss Mom G. Oh, it does look like an alien, right? To me, that's spirit. Alien is still spirit. I think, Rhonda, we're not going to think negatively. And as black folks, we have to stop thinking negatively. It's okay. Give her permission to run without the end results. White people run all the time. Y'all don't act. They're going to be okay. We're not going to do that. We're going to live in our power now. We're going to trust God in the process. Okay? We're going to put out positive uh, thoughts and energy. Will Michelle Obama just continue to toe the party line and continue to so support the same policies and the war machines? I don't know. I'm not checking into that, Angela. I'm not checking into that. Um, if I check too far into that, I think that would be a disservice to someone that hasn't even made the announcement yet. So what usually happens in a uh, uh, tarot readings is that you give the tarot reading but nothing happens oh, let me pick this back up when something happens is when you dig a little further so for right now we're checking one thing could she run that was the question not could she win just could she run the answer to your question is, yes, she could run. Beyond answering what Tarot has gave us, 
I want you guys to learn to be more spiritual. What's missing is your spirituality. When you second guess your human thought and trust others who have been running this world haphazardly all of your life. But when you don't trust spirit, that's where we get lost. So y'all got to tap into your own spirituality to see this, right? I'm not the messenger. I I'm the fact teller, right? According to spirituality, she could run. Hands up. Now, how this all works out, that's between her and God. But I'm going to tell you guys something. You can't stand up and be afraid for her. You can't stand up and say, oh, don't do it. There would be no free people if it weren't for Harriet Tubman. And she lived out her life nicely in the end. No one touched her in the end. And they all knew what she did, meaning the others. Pull your energy and only put it on spirituality. Trust them out there, you're going to go crazy. Because they're going to trick you. Just like they're tricking everybody that, you know, Kate Milliton is fine. Okay. Okay, that's not what spirit tells me. Spirit tells me she is not okay. Spirit tells me the London Clinic was like, y'all are making us look bad. And we can't have this. Kate gotta go. Spirit tells me we did not see that woman walk out of the hospital, wheelchair out of the hospital, nothing. But she's fine. That's not what spirit tells me. So. Spirit is telling me Obama's going to run. There is going to be something connected and they're going to make the announcement around June. Now, according to what I just played you, they're going to say Biden is out in May, but they're not going to have the replacement announced right away. According to this, Biden is going to announce he's not running again. Then everybody gets into a panic, which is what they want. They want you to be scared. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Trump will get back in. No, no. And then in August, they say, Michelle is willing to step up and take care of the White House. It's always been a plan. Just because you can't see it, I respect that. My job is not to listen to all of that chatter. My job is to get to the nitty gritty and trust my cards and trust what spirit tells me. That's why you all get readings from me. And then everybody's always shocked when they get readings from me. I can't believe this came true. I can't believe you picked up on this. Because my job is to trust this universe, this, this dome. By the way, get your readings with me. 213-458-7408. Everything in this video is, in my opinion, allegedly for comedic purposes only. If you are new and you've been uh, just found me, get a reading with me. If you have been watching me for 10 years, which some of you have, and you've never gotten a reading from me, you are missing out. And that's not a brag, it's a fact. You are missing out. Okay? Get, get readings from me, guys. Let's look at the comments. Pray for Kate Milliton and Michelle Obama. M Rhonda, I'm going to delete you in a minute. It's not the same thing. No, they are not in the same category. 
No. Can somebody else help Rhonda? Because I can't do it anymore. Tracy, what's going to be interesting is who she will pick as her VP. I thought about that. I thought about that. Mm -hmm. I thought about that. I, I thought about that. And then I wondered, would it be a female or a male? Would it be two females? I thought about that and I got so excited. I mean, there is this, there's a woman here that's not Michelle Obama. Could it be her running mate? D.D., repose your question. It's getting a little crazy. <sighs> um, Um, I think that you may have missed the point of the immigrant issue, though, because the president prior had them in cages, had kids locked up. We don't even know where those kids are today. So I think you're misguided in what's happening to the immigrants. It's a bad issue, but it's no different than the homeless that nobody can't seem to solve. It's hard to solve this immigration issue. And I think you're also forgetting, she rocks, is that the immigrants can't walk to Chicago. They got to come to Texas or Florida. They were bus there. How is that a democratic issue? Help me out here. We're, Breathe, everybody. Oh, Lord, this is the reason why I got out of politics. This is the reason why I got out of politics. Whatever's going on in Chicago is not a Democrat issue. DeSantis did that. A Republican. I don't know. I don't see the same things that you guys are seeing. I think that you guys are seeing old white world. No one's looking at the young kids. Yeah. Do you know how many millions of new voters are gonna be found in the last millions of new voters? And y'all are stuck on old white. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't believe in the same things. Stay focused. Let's get off immigrants. Stay focused. All right. She rocks. You need more education. You need more education. I don't think you are being fair to one group of people, the Democrats. Trump couldn't close the borders either. The borders have never been closed. Like, you just need more education. I just think you're being unfair and you're adamant in your thought and so can't combat how you're adamant. So if you're not gonna do something, then just stick with that. But I, I would, invite you to get more education on the immigrant issue. I lived in California, all right? I participated for four years in immigrant care. I watched over the kids that were being reassigned to families. And it's, a, it's very, very delicate, but 
I, I was in the trenches. So if you want to complain about whatever's happened in Chicago, volunteer somewhere. You make a difference. I got to say that to everyone. You will be less complaining if you stepped in and made a difference. I'm dead serious. They need your help. So don't sit back and blame people. Stand up and make something erratically different than what it is today. What if you, She Rocks, are the person that can make the bigger difference? Malika, not Oprah. Nobody likes Oprah. You didn't even notice? They stopped dealing with Oprah. You didn't notice? Mm -mm, not a Oprah. Nope. Infinite, help me out here. There's millions of white Europeans, we have to say it that way, that live in the U.S. without papers or they just get a free ride here. But once the skin tone is a little brown, no. If anything, participate. Get in the middle of this. Get into your political structure on immigrants in your state. And you're going to notice other things. Girl, yes, they're very, very cautious with Oprah. The last time she did something with Oprah, I think it was her book tour. And she, the both of them used each other for the book tour. Right. Well, there you have it. No, I'm not really sure if it's the Harvey Weinstein affiliation. I really think, to be honest with you, I really think it had more to do with Oprah getting credit for Obama being president. And as a Leo president, he would never let that happen. And I think that was disturbing more than anything. Like, you don't get to carry, you're the reason why I'm president. So he had to disassociate from her. He has not dealt with her. Let me see if I can find some Oprah, Obama pictures. He had gray hair. I mean, he had um, dark hair. He had dark hair. So how many years ago was that? He gave her the purple medal of bullshit and that's it. Okay, soul sister. Yeah. And, but that's why I think there's no pictures with the male Obama and Oprah because no woman gets to tell a Leo president, I was responsible for this. Fuck out of here. She rocks. We can disagree. I'm telling you, if you want to do more, get involved with the immigrants. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying if you got an angry tone, I agree with you. Y'all just got immigrants, all right? California been had immigrants. I'm just saying there's a way. And I'm not blaming the Democrats. That's all I'm saying. I cannot blame the Democrats. If you didn't see what Trump did to those immigrants sleeping in cages with cellophane paper over their backs and you didn't find a problem with that with Trump, then I have to question your racism. 
I have to conscious I have to consciously ask like where do you stand on the on the race categories? Like who's who's feeding you? Because it sounds like white folks are feeding you. You were not disgusted when you saw that. I was. And I got involved. In my way. I was at the court system twice a week. Helping out where I can. Belonging to an organization that helped out to make sure the kids that got through went to proper relatives. That they weren't sex trafficked. I did the best I could in the space that I could. I'm just saying you can't blame the Democrats. That's all I'm saying. It's not we can agree to disagree. There are some facts here. And the fact is, this is not a lone problem with the Democrats. <laughs> is that what I said? <laughs> That's all I'm saying, Angela. Black and browns are being mistreated under both parties. That's all I'm saying. I just, I can't agree with the statement that it's, um, that it's, um, Democrats. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Oh, I just think now that you said that, she rocks. I think the rhetoric in Chicago is against the Democrats. So now I'm wondering how everybody's going to vote in Chicago. Because y'all are being whitewashed. Thank you, Adrian. Yes, I was very upset with everything 45 did with the immigrants. This is why I got out of politics, because there's no one accord here. There's no one accord, and that is disturbing to me. But I, if, if everyone considers not being inside your intellectual head and look at it spiritually, just look at it spiritually, change has to come. So change has to come, like a tornado brings changes, hurricane brings changes, like change has to come. This, none of this can stay the same anymore. So with that being said, is it possible? That Michelle Obama is being called up. to run for the presidency if Biden doesn't continue, I'm getting a resounding yes. I'm not even getting, hopefully, maybe, I'm getting a resounding yes. And that, that is on God. I can only do what spirit tells me to do. But I will tell you this, they have been plotting this forever. Oh, and I mean, they've been plotting this forever. The, the full card comes up and the full card comes in a form of trickery, right? The full card in the tarot deck is a runaway kid, right? 17, 18, 19 runs away. When you have a runaway, what happens? You wake up to surprise. Where's my child? Where's my child? He ran away. My child ran away. Right? So the full card is the beginning of change. 
in a sense of newness, unexpected. Nothing what anybody could have thought. I also want to think that this energy might be for all the 17, 18 year olds. You don't know. They're going to market the fuck out of these young kids. I believe this is the White House, guys. And I think the White House could be female dominated. That would mean female candidate, female vice president. When I tell you they want to shake this up, the Democrats have nothing to lose. They want to shake it up. What does YOLO mean? I know, soul sister. I know. I hear you. I tell, I'm telling you that I'm telling everyone else. I can only listen to spirit. That's all I can do. So y'all are going to have to sit back and see what happens. I can only listen to spirit. I cannot argue with everyone. I know that there was a play on words. They asked, would she run last time? And she said, absolutely not, because she had just come out from being the first lady. They didn't, no one asked her forever. No one said, would you consider it four years from now, right? So there was a play on words, whether we understand it or not, but I want you guys to understand the Democrats are one of the smartest sections of people ever, highly calculating people. Nancy Pelosi and Obama is running this country, period. No, no. I just said two women. Nobody listened to me. All right. I'm going to stop this because I don't have to explain myself other than giving you what spirit is telling me. I can only tell you what spirit is telling me. If this was going to be a resounding no, the cards would have shown it so strongly. Wait, what? What happened? Leave the world behind the father t-shirt. Which father? Remember there was two fathers. What? Because there was a lot of symbolism in that movie. This shirt look like
don't see the t-shirt. Group's name. Oh, guys, you're going above me. What's the group's name? Definitely a spiritual message. No, no Pelosi. What group's name? What's the name of the group, Soul Sister? That is so exciting. All right. So. No, I'm not doing Nikki. My God, people. No Nikki. No Nikki. No. Oh, can't do Nikki. Can't live with that woman. I can't. I can't live with the abuse that that woman comes out of her mouth with. I, I, I despise her. Um, hold on. Better get my notes, okay? <laughs> so, sister took notes. We're gonna watch the movie. Um. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna give you all a chance to watch the movie, and then we're gonna discuss it. How's that? see Pelosi. Of course, I don't see Jill. Oh, my God. Mike, like Michelle Obama, I feel like she wants to rest, too. Bikini Kill? He had on a shirt that said Bikini Kill. old record player? This is the shirt, guys. Bikini Kill. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see it? Let me see. Bikini Kill. Oh, Bikini Kill is an American punk rock <clears throat> band formed in Olympia, Washington. Does the town Olympia have any meaning other than Bikini Kill? Washington does. Hmm. The state Washington has meaning. The band pioneered the Riot Girl movement with feminist lyrics and fiery performances. Their music is characteristically abrasive and hardcore influenced. Well, that's very interesting because this band disbanded in 1997. It then reunited in 2019 and 2022. Very interesting. So Let's go back over it again. 
for 2024, is there the potential for Michelle Obama to step up to the forefront to be the presidential candidate in 2024 if, if Biden says he will not continue on, which apparently that announcement is going to be made somewhere around April, May. That'll give enough time for the media to go into a frenzy. What are we going to do? What's everybody going to do? They didn't even have any candidates in the first place. And then I feel like in June, she will make an announcement to say, I, I will become the candidate. And then um, at the convention is where they actually vote. I mean, normally I would say, aren't there protocols? for this to happen, right? That's why we have such a lengthy two-year thing. Aren't there protocols? So normally I would say there would have to be protocols for that to happen that they would have to follow. But remember what I told you before. When 45 broke all the protocols, all bets were off. Now nobody has to follow protocol. Remember I told you that. I was like, he keeps breaking all the rules, and y'all keep going, oh, well, well, you know, well, he could have a cool, and nobody does anything about it. Oh, well, 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 well. Then the Democrats are like, oh, you want to break some protocols? Watch us. Uh-uh, so sister, don't tell me to go deeper. Help me. I'm trying to fight these people here. You, you give me what I need. You help me, sweetie. Tell me, you tell me. I get exhausted just speaking to my people and trying to convince them of this. I do too much as it is. I'd love for you to discipline me, but I, I'm trying to take care of these people. Well, that's interesting because I feel like they tested Newsom. I feel like when they had Newsom go against DeSantis, I felt that was a test to see what the people felt. And I don't think the impression from him was strong enough. So. Well, soul sister, I was... I was going to say that, but I could not remember her name. Again, I know this is going to sound crazy, but could Miss Cheney be the vice president? This way, we get white folks, Republican, but she might have to switch over. Um, and we get a Democrat, but it's female on female. Is there a way that we could have a Democratic president and a neutral party vice president? Because she hates the Republicans, so I can see her switching gears. Maybe not coming over as Democrat, but definitely coming over as something else. And is the possibility then a strong ticket? She is so pro-American, but she is pro-doing the right thing, American. Oh, each party makes their own protocol, so that means these changes are possible. Yeah. Yeah. So, no... From my impression, I'm not asking the cards, but I got the impression already when he had the debate with DeSantis, he's good, he's going to be president someday. I don't believe that they felt like he had everything they needed for him to take over from Biden. 
they might as well keep fighting. All right. I think Newsom is preparing for the presidency, but I think he's preparing in four years. So, and this blonde right here, this might be Liz Cheney. I don't know. I just know the house will be female. And I don't know what that means. The top officials will be females is what I'm thinking. A lot of female headed departments. Oh, she became independent. Oh, see? That's a calculated move. I didn't know that. So she left the Republican Party. Mm. Mm. What does her age have to do with the Tweety being pulled in as vice president? Bikini Kill derived from a movie, The Million Eyes of Sue Maru, a woman with the female army to eliminate male leaders and females. Just making my theory here, my psychic theory, more prominent. That movie had messages in it, and I did not know this a t-shirt, Soul Sister, but that is a good catch. Mimi, who's Nikki? Nikki who? Nikki Haley? Could Nikki possibly pull up an upset and be the female in power? Maybe. I'm not looking at Nikki. I'm not looking at Nikki. I'm looking to see what the Democrats are going to do. And I think the Republicans are, are not ready to choose a woman over 45. That's what I think. So I think they want it to be, the Republicans, I think they want it to be 45. But it will be a sad day in hell if they choose him to step out as the leader of their Democratic Party, knowing everything that, they're, that they know it would be a sad day in hell, and it would be the one reason that the presidency would go to a woman. Well, that means they must have become independent already. They must have become independent already. Listen, I don't know what the game looks like. I think the point is... Liz is an independent, is becoming an independent, if she becomes an independent, then the chances are for for this to be an amazing Obama Cheney ticket is high. I mean, even the beginning of the movie, when the boat came in, that was all about immigrants. Even the way the boat came in the beginning, like it kind of started out with immigrants landing on the land, but roughly, inappropriately. Do you understand? Like, what was the name of that boat? White Lion or something? has something to do with uh, uh, slavery. I don't know, Sweet Carmel. I swear I don't follow politics anymore. But if she did say that, that's what France is going through because France uh, wanted to up the age of retirement and they put a pile of shit on the um, state offices. 
and garbage and shit, like literal shit. Blew the shit. Have you, do you guys follow? <laughs> I follow politics. I just don't talk about it. Blew the shit. <laughs> Yeah, I know you will, but I find it interesting that you said Liz Cheney over Michelle Obama. That's what I found interesting. We really have to be careful how we still feed into white care, and we don't believe that we do. But I hope you meant you would vote for Liz Cheney, Michelle Obama, Michelle Obama, Liz Cheney, over both Trump and Biden. I see it as Michelle O'Biden slash Liz Cheney. No, she's too controversial. No, she's too controversial. They don't, they're not going to do that. I promise you. That they're not going to do. Lex Hall, right? You follow? <laughs> Over up in the age of retirement to like 63 or something. I got the number wrong, but... It was something so minor, and they lost their fucking minds. Oh, my God, it was cracking up. What woman? I, I get lost very easily, guys, when you guys talk, because I know we're kind of talking in different things. What woman is crazy? The president shouldn't even be that old. Just, I'm asking you to be careful on, on white care. Like, I see Michelle running, not Cheney, and I see Michelle running. And if I if I were to pick who this person is, I would say it's Cheney. Oh, and what I said to everyone earlier is that everyone has to get out of their intellectual head. Get out of your intellectual head and go into a spiritual space of possibility. To get out of your intellectual head, which is where you are taught to look at things a certain way, to act a certain way, then you could see the possibility. I think Obama put out a movie to get to the masses, the Obamas. I think that's a calculated move. I think he's also trying to tell the world, I, me and my wife, will save you. We're not gonna let this happen. And then there's another movie coming out in May. So May is a critical month. And in May, clips in April. And that, again, is an Obama movie. I don't know if it's both of them, but Obama is literally in the movie where he's talking to the regular Joe. That's a campaign guy. Oh, I'm confused as to what you're saying, so I'm just going to highlight everything until you get your voice clear. I would vote for Michelle Obama. Okay. So, this is the psychic word. All I could do is stick to it, guys. I don't change from the psychic word. And over the years, I have sent some crazy things. And I've had people go, yeah, not happening, Tracy. And I'd be like, I know, it sounds crazy to me too. Always comes out. The crazy always comes out. Again, the reason why the crazy comes out is because I'm always in my spiritual space. That means I'm allowed to see something that others can't see. You have the ability to do the same thing too. I just do it and then speak on it. You all do it and then don't speak on it or don't have enough people to speak on it. And then when you come in this group and I tell you what I see, you all will be like, that's crazy, Tracy, that's crazy. 
And it's like, this is a space where you can consider other possibilities besides what's normal. I'm not trying to be right. I could care less about being right. I don't even care about being wrong. When I'm wrong, I leave the videos up anyway. Because down the line, something comes right out of that video. Case in point, Alex Baldwin. I said that man was going to get arrested or something. And then they put out no charges against him. What the? And I was like, fine. Everybody contacted me. No charges, Tracy. No charges. I was like, I hear you. Yep. I hear you. I never take my videos down, even if I'm wrong. Because what happened a year later? Charges. Let's stay focused. Let's stay focused. Final outcome. Come on, spirit. I need a final outcome that I can understand because I haven't been understanding them lately. But that's okay. Maybe it's migraine too. Maybe it's my missing tooth. Fucks at my brain. Okay, I'm going to flash the card. It's not enough. I know you guys can't see it, and it looks like it is, but I really like it square on. And the one thing I don't want to do is still this way, is argue with you guys. I'm only giving you the psychic word. Y'all got to trust me on just the psychic word. I'm, I'm not right. Spirit is never wrong. I am not right. So there's a lack of trust in a bigger picture. Just like I said, all right, I'm going to leave it like this. Water. <laughs> just like I said, I'm just going to point this out. And I don't know why I keep bringing the two in. From everything I've been watching this whole weekend on the UK Monarch, they, they always get rid of all the women. And a few lovers. So. The women don't have a survival rate. Historically. Kate's in trouble. And the people of the UK can't see it. They can't see it. Kate's in trouble. I'm not sure if Kate is unalive, but Kate's in trouble. And I feel like the London Clinic was like, if you make a bad announcement, they're always going to remember the London Clinic. So, no, she has to go somewhere. I'm not confident this woman is not bludgeoned in the head, is not in a coma, is unalive. She served her purpose. She incubated. They don't need her. It's a patriarchal society. William turns out is exactly like his dad, nothing like his mother. Harry got out in the nick of time. Kate is not safe. And when they discharged her today, there were no pictures of Kate. The UK and the women of UK are failing Kate. Y'all are not asking questions. Y'all are accepting what the men are saying. And she could be crying for help, but the UK doesn't care. 
is Kate still here? All right, final outcome for Michelle Obama running for the presidency, martyr. Martyr. Learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or for a cause. You never know. If she does this, it is not going to be about her. If she does this, she's doing it for the greater good of America. Has the courage of one's convictions going so far as to... <sighs> ...suffers that others may be redeemed, either spiritually or politically. Look for a pattern of giving yourself to causes for the betterment of others regardless of the consequences. Thank you, Nina. You said it best. true queen. And remember, it's her Aquarian energy that's being paired with this decision. And I think it was always a possibility from four years ago. I think she needed a break. I think she needed to write some books to stay in the forefront of our vision and in our heads. And I think she's going to step back up to the plate. From what I can tell, I think she's going to step back into the plate. So it's going to be interesting. And then I see maybe Liz Cheney um, being her running mate. It, I'm getting, like, excited. Like, I, I'm like, oh, 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 like chills. I'm so excited. So this is the psychic insight. Believe me or not believe me, I don't care. I, I give the word. Close the book now, and we we shall wait. All right, guys, for the future of... You know, I think she's more humanitarian, so I think it's the, the future of the generation of her children. Giving them a fighting chance to see something other than old white men corrupting the country. Can you imagine somebody else? You know, there is a whole generation of kids who didn't know any other president but a black president. Imagine a whole generation of kids, at least for four years, looking at a female American president. That's a great ticket, yes. That would be a fire ticket. I would come back to campaigning if that were, were the case. I would campaign on YouTube. If that were the case, I'd be all over this. All right, guys. Whew, we had a rough time here. It was rough. My crowd is rough. All right. Just hilarious. Congratulations. Beat their asses. I love you guys. Thanks, She Rocks. Thanks for our uh, exchange. I appreciate you. And Jess Hilarious, you deserve this. Queen. Michelle Obama, if this is something that you decide, Queen. Cue that, Beckley! Call me Beckley.
for your own personal reason. 213, I always forget this part. 213 458 7408 on Zoom and on FaceTime and phone, regular phone readings. Don't drive yourself crazy if you don't know. Like, I don't get FaceTime. Don't worry about it. I could talk to you guys on IG, WhatsApp, Facebook, all the resources. I love you guys. Call me for your own personal reading. 213. Thank you, Rhonda. 213 458 7408. 213 458 7408. Text me now. Love you guys. Bye. Cue the music. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live.